cowboys and horsemen and stuff like that, but the old term was the Florida cow hunters because Florida was so rough, you had to actually use your dogs and find the cattle and bunch them up and rope them and tie them if need be. Hunter meaning I'm hunting a cow. We always called working cows cow hunting. A cow hunter was a person that actually hunted cattle. You're hunting those cattle. I mean, you're looking for sign. A cowboy is one that's really good with a horse and really good with cattle, really good with dogs. But a cow hunter is a, a guy that can ride his horse, track a cow, know how to outsmart her in the woods and make her do what he wants her to do after he's found her. And you are hunting, you're doing as much as a tracker would. Okay, that's fresh sign. Okay, that looks like it's been a couple hours ago. The cow hunter actually comes because a lot of these places here were rough. Big, large hammocks, sloughs, what we call strands, a lot of palmetto woods. And these cows had a good opportunity to hide. Getting out there early in the morning with a good crew or by yourself, and the sun just coming up, and you're just sitting there watching your dog. And them dog will go to ring and them cattle and bunch them up, and you just sit there <laughs> with your hands crossed on your saddle horn and said, you know, the good Lord done this right here for me, all this beauty. But to be able to drive up to a man's place you've never been on as a day worker, you need to be a cow hunter. And that's the guy that's able to go find her in her own territory and beat her at her own game. I'm proud to say I'm a cow hunter. My dad, he'd leave at four in the morning. He carried salt pork and maybe a baked sweet tater on his saddle. That was lunch. And he might not get back till nine o'clock. How close we are to death, but really never think about it. Us being probably the lowest paid on the labor force and still enjoy our job so much. We do not go to work with an attitude and we take care of our fellow man if he needs help. But we want to wait until we see how bad he gets bruised up first. <laughs> Harsh tacky pony and a whip of rope. Cow dog partner, friend by his side, no fences inside, from the gulf to the sea, I'm a time long past, it's a cow hunter's this whip was built by my granddaddy. This is what we call a Florida cow whip. I grew up all my life hearing it called a cow whip. Never a bull whip, never a stock whip. It's a cow whip. People out west want to say bull whip. This is nothing like a bull whip. At the end of the whip, it, most of us call it a popper or a cracker. This right here is what makes the noise. When you either roll that whip out or you draw it back after like coming around your head, as it snaps back to change direction, it's breaking the sound barrier. So the crack is like a miniature sonic boom. If you're just driving cattle, you know, or you've got a cow that's kind of fighting you a little bit, you'll roll it out at them. That's what you try to do when you try to get some cows going. Just kind of pop at them like that. You're out in a hammock or something like that, trying to push them out of the woods to the opening where the other men are. You might do this here if you got the room. Pushing calves, pop it a little bit at them. I mean, sometimes you can put different combinations like this, this. You can kind of roll it kind of in front of the horse like that. It was said you could hear popping of a whip for about two to three miles off. They might have a signaling system with the whip, something like a little telegraph through the wood. Three pops means I'm in trouble, the cows is getting away. Four pops means hey, y'all come into the camp, time to eat, you can kill a snake with it if you needed to. Average size most folks use is 12 foot. They say a lot of the old timers, we're talking from the 18, early 1900s, but some of them would use whips 17, 18, 20 foot long. Dreaming cow hunter dreams at the Florida sun. Dreaming cow hunter dreams at the Florida sun. Dreaming cow hunter.